Galen Patterson, Midwest Muscle. We are here in the new state, new town, new everything. Joliet, Illinois, Five Star Fitness. Got stuff just going on. Home of Jason Hurst, Nutrition Direct. He always doing things for the natural community. I'm talking to the guys right now, Joe and Jamie Perez. These guys are perennial, just helpers, background promoters, doing whatever it takes to get natural bodybuilding to the level it should be. Joe, we, we did the Great Lakes Supernatural this weekend. You saw a lot of stuff happening, you know, shows are growing, they basically stepping up their game off the stuff you did off of, you know, the, uh, the Chi-Town Showdown. How does that make you feel knowing that uh, they, they stepping the game up? Well, pretty good, man. You know, it, that's, that was the whole point of, you know, why we put out to do this. And, you know, I see the sculptures he had were nice, you know. He's always put, had a nicer trophy, though. Mm -hmm. That show's always been good. I recommend it to a lot of people, you know. Yeah. It was ran well. You know, a lot of good co competitors up there. And, uh, but yeah, as far as setting the bar, we, we sure are, you know, and we're just going to keep making it higher and higher. Now, you know, when you, when you have that happening and you got that stuff going, to, going on as a promoter, you know, as, as a fan, because I, I notice you do a lot, a lot of cheering like I do sometimes, you know, people you ask, you know, like, this ain't your show and you all geeked up. I don't really think it matters to you, you know, who's doing what, as long as people are being, you know, the competitors are taken care of. Yep, that's all I care about. You know, it's all about the competitors. We try to make everybody happy. You know what I mean? I go into these shows. You know, we we put them up with what we would want to get out of them. You know what I mean? And that's that's pretty much it. Now you got a guy like this guy, the Italian. I can't call him the Italian because he, he's just too handsome for that. This guy ain't doing his thing. You know, you got Anthony just actually, you know, changing the mold of how things going. Cause this guy is a bodybuilder and now a physique guy, making those kind of changes and fitting the criteria. Cause that was one of the big things you stressed at your show is criteria had to match up with, with the class you were in. If it was physique, it had to be a physique look. If it was bodybuilding, it had to be a bodybuilding look. You know, were, were you happy with some of the judgment calls at that show? Oh uh, yeah, they seem to be spot on. Yeah, and, and having a guy like this. <laughs> First place. First place. How's that feel, big guy? You know, it, it feels really good. You know, you put in your prep. This time, I only had to do about five weeks because I was I've been sticking at uh, about you know the eight to ten percent uh, body fat percentage weight, so I didn't have to dial in uh, for a longer period of time, a little easier on the body. Because yeah. I know that I'm sticking with physique now. Uh, recently, crossing over from bodybuilding, mm -hmm. thanks to uh, these guys, the the NABA. Chi Town Showdown. I did that in 2012. It was probably represent, one of the best, baby, best experiences of my life, uh, and it allowed me to uh, keep pushing for new goals and uh, new endeavors and things to hit. Yeah, Jamie. You know, you, like, we were talking in the locker room because yeah, I think a lot of people get confused. You know, it, we have normal walking around weight. And then there's stage weight. And, you know, we were joking around about, you know, how we look and, you know, who's going to be in front of the camera, whatever. It's funny to me because this is, like you said, this is us every day. And then there's stepping on stage. What do you have to say to the person so they don't lose their self-image, so they don't lose that, you know, that, that whole look of themselves and don't lose themselves in actual competition? Uh, I'd say just don't give up, you know. You can always start over. You yeah. know what I mean? If you... Uh, you know, life takes its life takes its toll. Jobs, kids, work, whatever. You know, sometimes you just can't uh, put in the prep, and uh, you can't get to the gym seven, eight times a, a day. You know, every day of the week, two, three times. But uh, do it naturally, and yeah. the foundation sticks. It don't it don't go nowhere. You know, then you get back into the gym, put your time in, and 